Most people in America are familiar with American politics and know that politicians in general, including our presidents, get a lot of abuse. I personally find that offensive because I feel that as an American citizen, it is our job to stand, whether we buy it fully or not, behind our administration. We do that for the fortifying of our borders. We do that for the security of our land. We do that to make sure that we don't have internal forces trying to ruin the plans at hand. We are not presidents in this world. We are not privileged to a lot of information. We do not have any concept for the level of stress and duress that a person at that level of an organization is responsible for managing. We openly also do not have the right to presume that our president is uninformed about the rest of the world and the attacks and potential attacks on our nation. We have military forces that are really important to us. They really do things for us. They really help us, and they really protect our borders. We also have internal forces that can be really abusive, really abrasive, and really destroy the American fabric of and the purpose of our nation. We have to be careful of those things because we have such an important well of resources still in America and we have to make sure that the people that are representing us in government are participating appropriately in supporting our current government. You see, we can have all these little backbiting little shit games going on looking like we're teenagers and display that to the world through the newscasts that are plaguing us across the day. I was just recently offended by seeing an article that was pissing all over Vice President. You know what? I get angry at that because I'm sitting here thinking, did you in your lifetime earn enough credibility, earn enough seniority, earn enough experience to make it to that level of any type of leadership? And the answer, motherfuckers, is no. So please, do not act like you understand everything that individual person or everything our President Biden is doing today to protect America. And we just got totally honored, if you didn't get it, by the Queen of England inviting our President to go over to see her. Now, I don't remember, and I don't know, and I may at some point look up the show to see whether or not President Trump got his right to do that, but I don't believe so. That was a major act of confidence by her because at her age, she didn't have to meet anybody. And she is such the monarchy, a part of the oligarchy, that she can say no to anyone. Now, in life, we have to be acknowledging of the corporate nations because that's what we are in the world. We're a corporation in the world, and we produce manufacturing, we produce food, we produce petroleum, we produce things in America that are not resources overseas. So if you haven't figured that out, you better start getting your head back together with what happens in your daily life. What do you put in your car? Gasoline. What do you put in your mouth? Food. What do you do in your home? You find safety, you find joy, you find happiness. You find photographs, you find everything that is the, uh, I don't think amalgamation is the right word, but the entitled total, total, uh, totalization of the history of your life and the future of your legacy. And that has to be protected. Every individual in America should know the Declaration of Human Rights that is the international game plan of Americans' show of force after World War II. If you don't, Get a copy, go online, read it. Every American citizen, if you consider yourself adult, should be very familiar with our Constitution, but more importantly, with the Bill of Rights. Do not abuse those documents. In America, we must protect our rights to be free. We must protect our rights against discrimination. We must protect our rights to stay safe in America. Being able to purchase a gun does not mean you have the right to utilize it or brandish it. I had a woman, a black woman, uh, obviously a gay woman, uh, on campus come up to me and threaten me and say, my girlfriend doesn't need you around her. I'm like, who the hell is your girlfriend? I've never met her, and I'm not hanging out in the black community of your age demographics. But she brandished her gun and flashed it at me, and on campus there's a law. You're not supposed to have a gun. So what is she doing there? I'm guessing that she is not a player who is a student there. And if she is, she's wearing her hip-off clothes and thinking she's marvelous. I'm going, good luck in your life. I don't think you're going to go very far. But we do, as American citizens, have the right to bear arms because we do have the right to protect our family, but you don't have the right to, to, to stalk someone, run up to them when they're sitting literally out of the way, completely out of the ordinary, and threaten them with a gun. You also don't have the right to shoot someone unless your, your life is in dire straits, and you need to get back to the concept of self-preservation. But self-preservation for you is also self-preservation for other people. 
and your view of life and your view of politics and your view of religion and your view of spirituality and your view of sexuality your view of, view of all these hot topics doesn't matter to most people it only matters to you but as a nation we have to come together with continuity and with elation to regard the fact that as a nation indivisible under one basically leadership administration that is currently in the presidency and currently in the white house we have to be willing to be supportive